Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here's somehow integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we uh, we should use integration by parts, and uh, we we don't really need substitution. So it's just straightforward integration by parts. So let uh, let u equals this, and let uh, let v prime equals this. So looking at this, um, by now you should realize that. We because look because of this bit here. We you should, by now you should realize that you need to repeat the uh, integration by parts process twice. Okay, so so because of this bit here. So uh, so we're going to need to re repeat integration by parts twice. So if u equals this, then u prime equals this. If v prime equals this, then when you integrate it, it will give you this. So now blindly follow this. So uh, so it's saying gets u times v. It's saying gets u times v, so that would be that would be uh, uh, negative x squared over two uh, cos two x, and then you've got your minus here, minus the integral of. Uh, it's saying gets uh, get u prime u prime times v times v, so that would be uh, that would be uh, x. Uh, that that, that that would be minus x cos uh, 2x dx and you've got a minus and a minus so that will make it a positive so anyway this whole thing here would then become this would then become this would then become this so now now we need to repeat the uh, integration by parts process again so uh, so just looking at this here this thing here repeat the process it will then give you this so, uh, so we are saying, let's, let this be capital I. So it's just neater. So let this whole thing here be capital I. Then, uh, then, then capital I equals this whole thing. Okay. So, hang on. Let's, let's go back. Uh, let's start that all over again. So we were trying to integrate this. Integration by parts here would then take us to, um, would then take us to here. So now, uh, looking at this, we would need to repeat the process again on this part. Repeating the process again. Would then give us this. Okay, so so we are now at this stage here. So this here is straightforward to integrate. So when you integrate that, it will give you uh, uh, it will give you this thing here. Okay, so so overall your answer will be this. But uh, here's a more efficient way of doing it. Um, when when you're trying to integrate this, when you're trying to integrate this, um, you should realize that you would need because of this bit here, you would need to. Um, to apply the integration by parts process twice. So, uh, so because you need to do it more, more than once, then, then jump to this table here. Create this table. We've seen this table in the past. So when you come to integrate this, um, the first part, so, so you're trying to integrate this. So, uh, so really this is your, your u and this here is your v prime. So, uh, so you, you, you're really trying to integrate this whole thing here. So the first part, so, so you're trying to integrate the whole thing there. The first part will be v, um, v, sorry, the first part will be u times v. So, so this here will be your, your answer here. So that's the first part here. Um, that will be your first part here. And then, uh, and then, and then the next part will be, uh, so, so this is your, your minus, Minus the integral here will then be will then be u doing this minus the integral of that and then and then when you come to integrate this well if, if you repeat the process it will be this this is your first part this here is your 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 second part don't forget you've got a minus here and a minus here that will then give you a positive and then your third part will be this bit here which will be this which will be which will be uh, this. Okay, we, we've seen this before in the past. So if you don't understand this, then then track back to one of the earlier videos. But um, it, but it, if you if you realise that you need to repeat the process several times, then jump to the table. It's much more efficient. Okay, so your overall answer will be this.